Now let's discuss a mythical gene of magicians. Not the O'Neills, the second most common royal clan, but the first most common, the Shyster. How do we hide ourselves? The Penguin. Simple. We change our last name, then we breed in on an espionage mission. We're from North Korea, thousands of years ago. So who is inside the genetic structure of the penguin? We've got North Koreans, Khanates, Turkmen, Mohammedans, Kurds, Azerbaijanis, Palestinians, Serbians, Cowards, Jacobins, Tudors, Fenians, Dutch Country, Obias, Nigerians, Beninese, Charlies, Charlieses, Charlemires, Charles Boyces, Jalaboises, Jamaicans, and of course Wilkinsons. These are our major clan subnames representing the indistinguished Kurdish gene. So how do you spot the penguin, a shyster? A shyst refers to a knife or blade technique, small, however to be used in intent as strategy outside of an actual hand-to-hand -hand fight. Our fighting forms being simple, taught as young children, accompanied with our sons, a notion of God, for an individual trap form, once we spot an arranged marriage on us, we go into a holding sequence based on a famous set of ancestors or practices in a trade we've mastered as apprentices and created a fictional work based on us. Or alternately, if a daughter, a weave, uh, called a spider. That means if a daughter has been placed on indemnity of will, that means she has to do something to receive money from a dead man or a woman or a state or a company bequeathing. She goes into a crossed set of practice. She will try to become a criminal, called a moil in Jewish culture, actually to us called a katana. Not katana natanta, the Japanese term for a sword. Our term katana, which is a female thief. Now, we have the practices of the various accounts executive sciences built around us. We're natural economists, and we do it to move a corporate structure. If something is in group and in print file of what you would call a conjoined practice of production, we can move it around and jiggle with it. Hence, a law degree is impossible, impreferable, or vain. We've had famous lawyers that did the right thing, such as Counselor Troit, the attorney and executor of wills and estates for Elizabeth Battery, Countess Battery. She was misrunning her whole empire by paying wage without accounting tracts. All of Austria and her territories would have been inherited by the Catholic Church. In legal terms, this is a misaphorism of state. We can't have a foreign envoy unit run our entire country. That means the money comes out of the church and into our public taxed coffers, not a non-tangible to increase potential of spending on produced goods of foreign import. 
instead of our exports non-relegated. That means you don't measure it because someone else is making the money, not you. We also had Archduke Deagle, the arch nemesis of the great titan in England, William the Loser, who we renamed William the Conqueror to give him a schizophrenic self-defeating personality disorder. And then we put him in prison and we doom the whole gene by saying William the Conqueror. Unless you want to play nice and happy with one of the shyster genes. Then we will put you down into a little space as a loser. And you can be a superhero like Clark Kent or Wonder Woman. Not Dr. Wiley, a character designed just for the gene William the Conqueror with the title. 